Hello and welcome to Justice. I'm Judge Janine Pirro. This is a Fox News alert. A deadly shooting today at a shopping mall in Columbia, Maryland. Police have confirmed three people are dead, including the gunman. With me now, former D.C. homicide detective and Fox News contributor Rod Wheeler. All right, Rob. Uh, Rod, you've been on the scene all day. What can you tell us? That's right. Well, around 11.15 this morning, uh, Judge, a call went out of shots fired right here at the Columbia Mall, which is a major, major mall that sits right between Baltimore and the District of Columbia. Several police agencies responded, including the Federal Protective Service. Now, when they got on the scene, they locked the mall down immediately. There were tons of people, Judge, here at the mall. As a matter of fact, I was only a mile away when that call went out, and I, I actually followed a lot of the police cars over here. The mall was jam-packed. The shooting occurred at a store on the second level of this particular mall. Now, this mall has two, sto uh, two levels, 202 stores. It occurred on the second level right by the food court. And so when the police went in there, they were able to clear that entire area out, Judge, and that's where they found three victims. All right, and as I understand it, uh, the, uh, the, the two that are deceased, uh, a young girl and uh, her boyfriend who worked at a skate store in the mall, Exactly. The young girl was 20 years old and then the young man was 25 years old. Now, the Howard County Police have not released the name of the uh, actual shooter because they're still inside this mall, believe it or not, at this late hour, still gathering a lot of evidence. Um, apparently, the shooter had a lot of ammunition on him, but the police chief said today, Judge, that a shotgun was used. They also have a bomb-sniffing dog that they flew in from Ocean City in there looking for other types of booby traps and things of that nature. So, this this is still somewhat of an active scene with the police department going through this mall and they're pouring over everything and anything that can lead them to some clues as to what the motive could have been. Because as you know, Judge, we don't know what the motive is yet. All right. We don't know what the motive is, uh, but it, it, it's interesting. A lot more people could have died. Uh, it appears that with a shotgun and with this young girl and young boy who are deceased, and we obviously don't know yet, uh, that it seems like it was a targeted shooting targeted toward those two individuals. Well, you're exactly right. That's what it appears to be, um, because a lot of the witnesses said today, Judge, that this shooter apparently went right up the escalator to a store called Zoomis, which is like a little skateboarding store for teenagers, and it appeared as though he specifically targeted his two victims, and then he turned the gun on himself. Again, this is still somewhat of a fluid situation, an active crime scene here, and I think by tomorrow we'll have more information as to exactly why what happened today happened. All right, Rod Wheeler, thanks so much. Sure, thank you, Judge. All right.